Oprah Winfrey is considered one of the most influential women on the world today. According to Forbes, she is on the top 10 list of richest self-made women in America. But how did Oprah go from extreme poverty and abuse to such marvelous highs in life? Oprah was raised from a single mother in Mississippi. She was beaten by her grandmother and molested by her cousins. She used to wear potato sacks for clothes. She faced racism and sexual harassment at the beginning of her career. Soon enough, she started hosting a show called AM Chicago, which became a hit and was renamed as The Oprah Winfrey Show. From then on, Oprah has so many other businesses. She also owns a cable network called OWN, which stands for Oprah Winfrey Network. Oprah is also known to be a philanthropist. She has her own foundations. She is called the queen of all media and is now a multi-billionaire. But how did Oprah become so successful? On her talks and interviews, she says that she owes her success to self-awareness. Listening to your gut, to your intuition, or inner voice, whatever you name it. She says that everyone has a calling, but how do you know what that is? First of all, you need to remove all distractions and become still. You need to listen to that inner voice, to that guidance. According to Oprah, when we know who we are and what we are here to do, we live a life full of purpose and meaning, which will eventually end up in success. When you have a knowing that something is what you're here to do, something feels so aligned with what and who you truly are, then that's when you know that you have to go after it with every part of your being. Also, Oprah says that there needs to be some sort of direction in your life. On one of her motivational talks, she says that if she gets in a car, she wants to know where she's going. Oprah knew she wanted to be famous from a young age she wrote that down when asked where she saw herself in 20 years. She also knew her value and didn't accept anything else. At the beginning of her career, she knew that there was something more. That's why she never gave up and followed her passion. She is the physical representation of the phrase, know your worth, then add tax.